Welcome to video lecture on analog and digital electronics. In this session, I will discuss the concept of encoder and ROM. An encoder is a device or a process that converts data from one format to another. An encoder is a combinational circuit that performs the inverse function of a decoder. An encoder converts an active input signal into a coded output signal. The diagram shows the block diagram of 2 to the power n to n encoder. That is, it has maximum of 2 to the power n input lines and n output lines. Hence, it encodes the information from 2 to the power n inputs into an n bit code. The block diagram of 2 to the power n to n encoder, we can say there are 2 to the power n input lines and n output lines. Depending on the active inputs, the output is coded. The example for encoders are decimal to BCD converter and 8 to 3 priority encoder. We will see what are those encoders one by one. Decimal to BCD encoder is also called 10 line to 4 line encoder. A decimal to BCD encoder has 10 input lines and 4 output lines and it accepts 10 inputs and produces a 4 bit output corresponding to activated decimal input. Let us see the block diagram of decimal to BCD encoder. In this decimal to BCD encoder, it has 10 inputs varying from 0 to 9 and 4 outputs A, B, C, D. A is the MSP bit and D is the LSP bit. This is the logic diagram or circuit diagram of decimal to BCD encoder or 10 to 4 line encoder. Depending on the input, the equivalent BCD number is generated. Here, 10 inputs are connected through a switch. When a particular switch is on, that particular input is set to 1, then the OR gate in outputs are generated depending on the input. There are 4 OR gate connected at the output side. For OR gate A, the inputs are 9 and 8. For OR gate B, inputs are 7, 6, 5, 4. For the OR gate C, inputs are 7, 6, 3 and 2. For the OR gate D, inputs are 9, 7, 5, 3 and 1. Now let us see what happens if I on the switch 5. When I on the switch 5, line 5 is set to 1 and all other lines are set to 0. The inputs for OR gate A are 0, 0. Hence, the output of OR gate is 0. So, OR gate's definition says that when one of the input is high, the output is high. So, for the OR gate B, inputs are 0, 0, 1, 0. So, the output of OR gate B is 1. The input for OR gate C are 0, 0, 0, 0. Hence, the output of OR gate C is 0. Now, the inputs for OR gate D are 0, 0, 1, double 0 since line 5 is set to 1. Hence, the output of OR gate D is 1. Now, the for 5 equivalent BCD number is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, we will see the truth table of the decimal to BCD encoder. So, the input are represented in decimal digit that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For this decimal digit, equivalent BCD numbers are generated as the output of OR gate that is 0 equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 
Next we'll see what is 823 priority encoder. 823 priority encoder is an encoder which has 8 inputs and 3 output. An 823 priority encoder takes all of their data input one at a time and converts them into an equivalent binary code as its output. It generates an output code based on the highest prioritized input. Hence, it is called 823 priority encoder. That is, in priority encoder, if two or more inputs are equal to one at the same time, the input having the highest priority will take the precedence. This is the block diagram of 823 priority encoder. It has 8 inputs namely Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6 and Y7. And it has 4 outputs A, B, C and 4th output called D or it is also called valid output indicator. Now let us write the truth table for A23 priority encoder. Initially all the inputs are set to 0. Hence, all the outputs are set to 0. The output V or a valid output indicator indicates whether one or more of the inputs are equal to 1 or not. Here, none of the inputs are set to 1. Hence, validity or valid bit is also set to 0. Next, Next, we will set y0 equal to 1 and y1 to y7 equal to 0. The equivalent output is 0, 0, 0 and valid output is set to 0 since one of the input is set to 1. If y1 is set to 1 and remaining entries are set to 0 and y0 can be a don't care condition, then the output is set to 0, 0, 1 and valid bit is set to 1 since one of the input is set to 1. Now we will see why this encoder is called a priority encoder. Suppose the next entry in the truth table that is y0 and y1 are set to 1 then the encoder gives priority to the y2 value that is highest order bit and it converts this into equivalent 0 1 0 hence it is called priority encoder if y3 is set to 1 and lower priority inputs like y0 y1 y2 are set to don't care condition and all other inputs are set to 0 then the equivalent output is 0 double 1 when y4 is set to 1 and y0 to y3 are set to don't care condition, y5, y6, y7 are set to 0, then the equivalent output is 1, double, 0. Similarly, when y5 is set to 1 and lower order bits are set to don't care condition and higher order bits are set to 0, then output is 1, 0, 1. Similarly, when y6 is set to 1 and y0 to y5 are set to don't care condition and y7 is set to 0, then the equivalent output is double 1, 0. Similarly, y2, y6, y0 to y6 are set to don't care condition and y7 is set to 1, then the equivalent output is triple 1. The valid output is set depending on the input. If one of the input is high, then the valid indicator will be set to 1. Now we will see what is read-only memories or ROM. ROM consists of an array of semiconductor devices that are interconnected to store an array of binary data. Binary data is stored, can be read out whenever required, but cannot be changed.
here we'll see the structure of rom a rom which has n input lines and m output lines contains an array of 2 to the power n words and each word is of length m bits the input line serve as an address to select one of the 2 to the power n output lines hence rom basically contains a decoder and a memory array a 2 to the power n into m rom can realize m function of n variable because it can store a truth table with 2 to the power n rows and m columns so this is the structure of m n input line and m output line rom and it has 2 to the power n entries of m bits inside the rom that is it can store 2 to the power n words of size m bit within the rom now let us see the structure of an 8 word into 4 bit rom so it has three input lines namely a b and c and four output lines which indicate the number of bits f0 f1 f2 f3 and there are 2 to the power 3 that is 8 entries within the ROM that is it can store 8 4 bit words or 4 bit data within the ROM. Now this is the truth table for 8 word into 4 bit ROM. Here the input will vary from 0 to 7 and output are the represented output and it can vary depending on the user. That is, we need not write the same number at the output side. They are only for the representation purpose. You can write or you can store any number within the ROM. We know that ROM is basically made up of a decoder, a decoder and a memory array. The 2 to the power n lines are converted into 2 to the power n input using a decoder of size n2 to the power n. The memory array consists of 2 to the power n words of m bits and m output lines are there in the ROM. We have studied that 2 to the power n into m ROM can implement m functions of n variable. Now we will implement an example function to understand how a ROM can be used to implement the function. So, we will implement the following function using an 8 word into 4 bit ROM that is function F0 is equal to summation M of 0, 1, 4, 6, F1 is equal to summation M of 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, function 2 is equal to summation M of 0, 1, 2, 6, Function 3 is equal to summation m of 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. First draw the structure of 8 word and 4 bit ROM. That is a decoder of 3 input and 8 output lines and a memory array of 8 words and 4 bit. Now let us implement the first function f0 is equal to summation m of 0, 1, 4, 6 using ROM. So in the line f0, you have to write into m0, m1, m4 and m6 and this is the implementation of f0. Similarly, we will implement f1. f1 is equal to summation m of 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. So, in the line f1, you have to mark M2, M3, M4, M6 and M7 for the implementation of F1. Now F2 is equal to summation M of 0, 1, 2, 6. So in line F2, we have to mark or write M0, M2, M1, M2 and M6 for implementing F2. 
finally f3 is equal to summation m of 2 3 5 6 7 so go to f3 line in f3 line mark cross mark for m2 m3 m5 m6 and m7 this is how we can implement any given function using ROM. In this session, I have discussed the definition of encoder, the operation of decimal to BCD encoder and A23 priority encoder and the structure of ROM and function realization that is Boolean expression implementation using ROM.